Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris from Cycle Source Magazine, Grease and Gears TV, and we're in the shop today to work on the FXR Evolution. If you guys haven't heard about this, you can check it out at DennisKirchGarageBuild.com. One of the things that we want to do with the, um, the uh, FXR Evolution is we want to do this as an everyman bike. You know, we, want, we don't want to do anything that's too in-depth with fabrication or or any of the stuff that every garage builder couldn't do, but this is one of those things that I believe is achievable for everyone. So front ends like this. First, I wanna introduce Keith. I'm with Keith Thompson today from Cycle Stop USA. Keith is actually the man in the know, so you're gonna save me from being too dumb with this because okay. I know nothing. All right. Now, most of the time when you buy these things used like this, the very least you're going to have to do is a, is fork seals. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to do at least a full service, uh, change your fork seals, and a lot of times bushings as well. Uh, if you get into doing uh, re-anodizing of the upper, uh, you'll all, always want to remove your bushings. Um, and then if you're going to powder coat the, the feet at all, you'll have to remove those from the lower tube as well. The part for me that I don't get about that, like I've taken, you know, even on dirt bikes and stuff, I've taken them apart. Mm -hmm. I've never taken off the bottom foot of it. So okay. I, I really don't understand how that goes. It's a little tricky. Take some heat. There's a set screw in the side here on most of your Japanese forks. Um, so you want to put some heat there because that, that set screw is Loctited in from the factory. Um, so you heat that up, get the set screw out, and then you put uh, quite a bit of heat around the circumference of the foot, again, to melt the Loctite on the threads of the lower tube that where it screws into the foot. Yeah, let's uh, let's tear into it, man. I'm going to clear off your work area. Okay. For Typically, we'll start with a 17 millimeter on the top and remove all of the preload. Uh, something else I'll always do before I disassemble is snug down the rebound adjuster. Don't over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you'll flatten the needle and have a typical time getting correct rebound adjustment. Um, but if you preload that all the way in until it stops to a snug stop, um, then your rebound adjustment will be set for when you go to put it back together. Now, I only use the impact to crack that nut loose. You should never have to impact these forks apart. Go ahead and pour the fluid out. This was probably a race tech tool. Looks like it's got a few miles on it. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, speaking of earning stripes, until you have something important to illustrate for the for the viewers, mm -hmm. you have uh, a pretty storied history in in motorcycling and especially suspension service. A bit, yes. So, I'm an authorized Olin's service technician. I have been since 2001. Um, used to do uh, traveling with uh, the Arma series as a lead technician for a multi-time champion road racer by the name of Paul Vitale out of Warren, Michigan. And my Olin's experience in factory trained technician there, which led to eventually us doing trackside service uh, with the Olin's product.
assembly, we will replace the O-ring inside as well. So what's our what is our opportunity here? This is something we would want to send out to be anodized, re-anodized, or well, no, I, I I really wouldn't suggest doing that. I would put this in a lathe and uh, just <coughs> just polish it. It's titanium nitrate coating, so it does not come off. Okay. Um, there are several different colors of titanium nitrate that you can get. There's a blue, purple, black. In the beginning, we showed you that this is a high boost of front end. The only thing a garage builder is going to have as far as a challenge in this is pushing the next stem out and either having a, a brand new stem machined or um, one from a Harley modified. But your local machine shop can take care of that for you. It's not that big of a deal. So it kind of still holds true to our, our garage build team that we're going with this FXR. But Keith, man, thanks for no problem. helping us out with Thank this you, and Chris. teaching us something about the the uh, suspension on the import motorcycles and a couple new tools that I need to get for the Greasy Gears Garage. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Stick around for the next installment of the FXR Revolution.